So, Ball JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on Duke freshman forward Marvin Bagley III and why he is truly the representation of a positionless star whose skill set and game will translate from college to the NBA. If you haven't heard of him before, great. This video is for you. And if you have because you saw my video on him skipping his senior year of high school to play college ball, or for some other reason, then great, this video is also for you. As always, make sure to check out my other videos I've been putting out, and make sure to comment down below your requests for future videos. I see you out there, and some of those requests will be honored for sure. And leave a thumbs up on this video for more Topic Tackle. And let's get going with today's topic. I've always been a skeptic of Marvin Bagley III, not because of any lack of talent on his part or skill set. I've just always thought that Michael Porter Jr. would become more of a superstar down the line in the NBA. And the fact that Bagley reclassified and was immediately propelled above Porter to the number one player in the 2018 class surprised me. I'm not giving up on Porter, and I believe that his back injury will work out for his good in the long run. But for now, with Porter, sideline possibly for the entire season the college basketball stage belongs to duke and their best player 611 marvin bagley the third i don't want to be a prisoner of the moment but after watching bagley's three games at the pk80 tournament over thanksgiving weekend where he put up 82 points and 45 rebounds in those three games and did it against arguably two of the best teams in the entire tournament I can't help but be impressed. And it's the way that Bagley can score and defend that makes him a perfect fit for modern day college and pro basketball. From Tempe, Arizona, Bagley only played two seasons of high school basketball, one at Sierra Canyon in his junior year and had to sit out his sophomore year due to California transfer rules, which are all changed now, but whatever. The fact is Bagley possessed a level of maturity well beyond his years in high school, which he's carried over to Duke University. His numbers at Sierra Canyon and during the Nike EYBL Peach Jam don't lie in neither do his college numbers. Through eight games and eight wins at that, Bagley is putting up 21.1 points per game, 10.7 rebounds, and 0.9 blocks on 60.8% field goal shooting. Although early, Bagley isn't just dominating mid-major schools. Against Texas, he had to go up against the number five NBA draft prospect, seven foot Mo Bamba, and held him to nine points on three for seven shooting while countering with 34 points on 12 for 19 shooting and 15 rebounds. Then, after trailing by double digits in the second half against a hot Florida team, Bagley put up 30 and 15 with some clutch buckets down the stretch to seal the tournament victory. So how does he do it? First on defense, Bagley uses his seven foot wingspan to constantly contest opponents jumpers and layups. The potential Florida game tying field goal was contested by Bagley and although this isn't something that will show up in the box score, we all know that length is so valuable in today's game. Bagley can guard both bigs and guards, making him versatile on the defensive end and is a monster rebounder. If the ball is up for grabs, he will most likely pull it in. Offensively, he also uses his wingspan to shoot over other bigs from a post up. Bagley tends to keep it simple with a drop step layup or floater from in close when put in these positions, but hey, no one's stopping it, right? Duke has featured Bagley in either a post up down low or allowed him to create from as far out as the three point line. His handle for a quote unquote big gives him the ability to accelerate to the basket and either go all the way or stop short and pull up with a left-handed teardrop floater in the lane. And when in doubt, throw it up to him and let his vertical and wingspan allow him to throw down an alley-oop. With all the skills that Bagley possesses and maturity that he's shown thus far, it's going to be hard to pass on him with the number one pick. I don't even want to call him a big because he can pull down rebounds and take it coast to coast if he wants with his speed. And it's all these abilities that he has that make him a positionless threat out on the court. And that is something that NBA teams will pay a lot to have nowadays. The one glaring weakness in his game is the three-point shot. Shooting only 27.3% thus far, I know his favorite player is KD, hence why he wears KD 10 shoes almost every game and the number 35 jersey, but I really hope no one makes this comparison. Not every tall and long forward can be Kevin Durant. Come on now. But with that being said, Bagley has shown that he can pull up from mid, and if he develops a consistent jump shot, he will be really scary. Right now, he's scary with potential to be scarier, if you know what I'm saying. An extra fact on Bagley as well, he's another basketball player slash rapper who's dropped tracks on SoundCloud that I can rock with. It's your boy and be up on the track, I'm coming back harder than ever. I'm so cold, go grab you with sweat, I think they know better. They come at me sideways. Who knows, maybe we'll see a collab with him and Dame Dalla in a couple years. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Marvin Bagley will be a superstar in the NBA? Why? or why not remember to subscribe like and leave your feedback in the comments down below we'll be back with more topic tackle soon jc3 out